I feel like every personal trainer either wants to train celebrities or start their own gym or, or both together. Um, what made you think, okay, I'm ready now to start a gym or what was the kind of triggering point that got you from, you know, independent personal trainer to, you know, I could go on, I could, I could build this myself. I'm going to build my own outfit. I'm going to have my own gym. Um, you know, I'm going to go to this next, next level now. Something that's got, let's say, independent longevity. Mm. Yeah. You know, I'd like to say that the dream was always to own a gym that I built myself up. I got my body good. Then I increased my client base. Then I went to high and then I went to a gym. I wish I could say something that linear that was clean. Uh, But the simple fact is that it wasn't like that at all for me. Um, My brother actually has a very successful um, fitness company called Evolve in London. He owns two gyms, one Liverpool Street, where Blackfriars, great business. Predominantly body transformation. It used to be called Evolution. Interestingly, it used to be called Evolution of Man. And then it branched out to men and women. They do male and female body transformation, which I think is cool, but that was the whole, they're now called yeah. Evolve. But that's their brand, it works really well. But before that, he had a gym called The Buzz Gym. And it actually sent him bankrupt. And I saw him for hours and hours a day in that gym, burnt out, sleep deprived, um, you know, fucking just looked like a state because he was stressed out because it wasn't working. He'd invested a load of money, gone wrong. And, and I kind of thought to myself, you know what, I never want to own a gym. I never want to, certainly for a startup, I don't want to invest all that money in all that stress. So I kind of left it. Um, a couple of years later, Tim and I and brother, basically we started a boot camp company and we were delivering boot camps around South London, Brixton Way, Croydon, et cetera, Croydon Clapham. Um, and it was okay, but we couldn't really make the business work. I think we were two generals trying to steer the ship perhaps in different directions and we kind of fell out a bit business-wise and let it go. And he started his business. Um, and then I just focused on personal training. I thought, right, just do what you're good at, do what you love and build it up. And I built it to a good level. Um, and it was actually more kind of um, a couple of things. One, which sounds a little bit kind of woo-woo, but I wrote a, a list on my computer, which a document that I put all my files in on my iPad. And it's called Life's a Beach 2020. Because my happiest times are in the sunlight, I'm, I'm like Aquaman. I mean, I get in the ocean, I instantly feel pumped, I feel strong. I found out recently why I've been actually has an effect, and that's why you feel so euphoric. But when I'm in the ocean by the sea, I feel fantastic. And I decided inadvertently that in 2020, I was going to be living by the ocean. I had no idea how I was going to do it, um, but I just, I want to be living by the ocean. I've been working underground in a gym all day long, and that's a whole other thing. The you know, SAD, lack of sunlight, being mixed race, not getting any sun, it really affected my mood. Um, And by the way, I supplement with D3, which everybody watching this should. D3 is the freaking bomb and 4,000 IUs, you know, go strong. Um, But yeah, so I decided I was going to kind of move to the beach. And then part of this whole lifestyle thing was I decided two years ago that once a month, I'm going to have a a long weekend holiday because I didn't take holidays for years. Once a month, I'm going to have a long weekend away. I'm just going to make it work financially. And I decided to do that. And weirdly, I started making more money because I was taking my foot off the gas and I was putting across a better energy. And I actually, I met my business partner, Zoe, over here. Um, and she mentioned that the gym that I trained in, this old school 80s gym called Club Docchio, um, was up for sale. And she was looking at buying it, but she couldn't find the right business partner. And it was just like, okay. Um, and it was a bit of a weird one because we were kind of like in a relationship, not in a relationship, a bit of a, a, you know, an unusual one like that. It was like, I think it's going to get complicated if we go to business together. It can get very messy. Um, but I had, a, I had a, you know, had a bit of chat with her about it. I said, you know, screw it, let's do this. I want to be in the sun. Let's give this a go. Um, her background as well is her dad used to play for England as a football player. Recently had a statue unveiled of him. Um, a guy called Brendan Batson, incredibly inspiring guy. Funnily enough, um, one of the first black football players to segue into our race thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, him and two other guys, Cyril Regis and Laurie Cunningham, used to be known as the Three Degrees. Um, and they had a 20-foot statue unveiled at West Bromwich recently, you know, to, uh, to kind of, like, respect them, really. Uh, but her That's background amazing. was in sports. So, yeah, just we kind of chilled, really, and we just thought, let's take this gym over. Um, and then here we are, the name Neo. Um, I wanted something short and, uh, short and punchy. I kind of like the idea of three letters. Um, Neo basically means new, it means improved. And I just thought, you know, it's a little bit, it's quite cool. Uh, the three lines stand for training, nutrition, mindset, which is what our brand's built around because it's, you need those three things to be happy, healthy, and successful. Um, and, and yeah, here I am. 